What do you think of when you hear the word hipster? What well, if you think of one of these? Well then just leave. Make yourself a skinny decaf macchiato and just, just go. <laughs> but if you think of one of these, yeah, I like you. Just one second. Oh, I'm ready now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another MicroBadot tutorial. Yay! Yes, today we are making a 2x2 hipster. No, not one of those hipsters. A 2x2 hipster door. But just wait a second. What exactly is a hipster door? Now, one thing I need to mention is that this build is not the smallest it can be. Shocking, I know. <laughs> but in my defense, it is very close to the smallest it can be, and it's really fast. And most importantly, as you guys know I love it, it is fully in sync. Yes. <laughs> now, I know you've seen it working already, but let's just take another look. So we flick this lever off, and as you see, the door opens very nice and quickly, as we said. And then flick the lever again, and again, it closes. Very nice and quickly too. Okay, so now you've seen the build and you've seen it working. Let's get on with this tutorial. I feel like the last few lists have been just a little bit fast. Let's just slow it down. Play some nice music. Okay, so for this amazing build, you're going to need four regular pistons, 10 sticky pistons, 18 observers. <laughs> It just doesn't work, does it? Four regular pistons, ten sticky pistons, eighteen observers, five frozen repeaters, five frozen torches, four resting blocks, six frozen dust, two slabs, one lever, four blocks to draw itself, eleven blocks to draw itself, and how you looks need for a decoration. <gasps> oh, I finally get it right. I finally got it right. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, to start this build, you first need to determine, like usual, where you want your door to actually be. So what I've done here is I've laid out two blocks. Now these blocks here are your door itself. So our door is going to go here. I recorded this clip about three times and I just can't get it right. <laughs> so after you have that all marked out, you know what you have to do. You have to grab our shovels and do some digging. So firstly, break out these two blocks here, one and two to the right, and one and two to the left. Four from the top, one, two, three, four, and four from the bottom, one, two, three, four. And then go along and make a nice rectangle like this. And then break out these blocks in between. Okay, so now you should have a six wide hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect by nine long. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, counting with a bow tie, man. <laughs> you learn something on this channel. <laughs> okay, so after you've done that, you need to do that five more times. This hole needs to be 60. Okay, like that. So our hole should be one, two, three, four, five, six deep. Perfect. Now, of course, our hole does not need to be this big. As you can see, that build is a lot smaller than our big hole. But the reason we have that is so we should have room to move around. Actually, room to make the redstone, which is kind of useful. <laughs> Just something to know, I'm going to be building it with a lever over here, okay? So I'm going to be building it this way. So our lever is going to be going over here. What I'll do is, whoops, that's not a lever. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll place a lever on this side so you know which side I'm going to place the lever. How many times can I say lever in one sentence? <laughs> so after you've dug all that out, we can actually get on with some redstone, which is good. So what you need to do is come down underneath this block here and come down four blocks. One, two, three, four. Remove the first three. One, two, three. Yes, I'm counting again. And then have three sticky pistons going directly toward this block. One, two, and three. Then three next to them. That's one, two, and three. Now going toward where our lever is going to be, we need two regular pistons like this. Okay, off the side of those bottom pistons. Then two temporary blocks here, and then two observers facing upwards. So the dot should be going toward the sky, and we can remove these two blocks here. Now from these observers, we need again need two observers, but going toward these pistons here. So place one like this, and place one like that. On top of our dots, we need blocks of redstone, then two of your door blocks. So the blocks you're actually going to be using for your door. 
Then come out two blocks from here, one and two, and have a sticky piston, not a regular one, a sticky piston going toward this block of redstone, and then another one here. Okay. Now, underneath this piston, we need to come out one and two, remove the first, then grab a lever and place it here. So you can see we have our lever, so we can remove it now. <laughs> and then flick it on. So make sure it's on. Then a torch on top, which should turn off. And a torch on the side, which should turn off. And a block above. Okay. Then a block here. And dust on top of it. And a block on this side. And dust on top of it. Next to our block, we need a sticky piston. And in a minute, we'll place a block of rest on here, but don't do it yet. And then the same on this side. Now grab an observer and place it facing downward toward this piston, like that. So the face should be facing toward the sky. Then grab one solitary repeater and place it here on one tick. And then we can do that on this side. So we place the observer like that then a repeater on one tick. And now we can place our block of redstone here and one here. So now when we flick our lever off, we should actually have our door. Brilliant. But we won't have the full retraction. As you can see. Brain, please work. <laughs> this is literally like the eighth time of me recording this. To finish off this build, you okay, to finish off this build, so to finish off this build on three tick delay. So place it one, and both of these need to be on four tick delay. So play, uh, then grab two pistons and place one on top of that pit. Ah! Okay, now just to finish off this build, what you need to do is come over to this right hand side and place an observer coming away from the side of this one, like that. So the dot going away. Then grab another observer and place it off the side of this one, with the dot going toward the back. Then place a temporary block here, and then grab another observer and place it downward like that. So the face should be going toward the sky. But then we want to cover up that face with a repeater going like this on three tick delay. So press it twice, once and twice. Now you guessed it, grab another observer, <laughs> this build is very observer heavy, and place it here. Then on the front of this observer, we need a torch, a block on top of that torch, and a torch here which should turn off. On top of that torch we just placed, we need a piston, and another one here, going toward our build. Underneath this piston here, we need a temporary block, one down and to the left, remove this block, and dust on both of these, one and two. After that, place two blocks here, one and two, and then two slabs off the top side of these pistons here, so that's one and two. If you struggle to place in slabs, just use glass, it does look exactly the same. <laughs> then two bits of dust like this, and then grab two repeaters, and we need two repeaters both on four tick delay going toward our dust. That's one here on four tick delay, and one here. So place it down and press it three times. Once, twice, thrice. Now the very last thing we have to do is place an observer coming away from that repeater. You can see the face is detecting it. An observer up, so the dot going toward the sky. One toward these middle blocks and a block here. And then the same on the other side. So we need to place an observer coming away from that repeater. One up, one toward these blocks and a block. And then the very, very last thing we have to do is place two observers facing upward next to our pistons, and then two decoration blocks here and here. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> so now we can give it a quick test. So flick the lever, and we should have our door, very nice. And then flick the lever again, and everything should retract perfectly. Brilliant. <laughs> so now we can cover up our redstone with all the blocks, and that's fine. Just one word of caution about this build, when you close the door, so when you flick the lever, you need to wait a few seconds, and then you can open it. Because if you don't, your build will slightly break. I'll show you what will happen. So watch, I'll close it, and then I'll open it. <laughs> can you see? It's completely broken. So basically you have to reset it. So all you have to do is remove these blocks like this, Okay, so these are your bottom pistons down here. These will always stay the same, but then just place two more on top, two more on top of those, two door blocks here, two door blocks here, and then flooring. And that's it. That's it. 
It's very simple. So then it will work again. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Four and ten sickness and eight nibs average, five rows repeaters, five rows and torches, four western blocks, six rows and dust, two slabs, one lever, four blocks to draw itself, eleven blocks to just to go on, and then how many looks need for decoration. <gasps> Yes. Oh. Mm.